At 11 a.m. in the morning, the main street in Renner was filled with trucks, tractors, and forklifts, but the road was dry. Two hours later, and the road looks like this. It's a situation officials say they were ready for. Uh, we're anticipating water to be going through where we're standing yet today. Renner Fire Chief Mike Schmitz was right. The water flowed over the main road in no time. Schmitz has lived in the small town for 25 years now. I've been through a lot of floods, but this would be my first fall flood. Okay. Typically, it's a spring flood. This one's acting a little different. The water is coming at us just a little different, and I think we're being prepared as much as we can be. This is the property that I grew up on, so... You know, I've been here a long time. Joanne Morgan knows her yard will be flooded, but isn't worried about the inside of her house. Our property or our house happens to be at the 100-year flood level, so it is at that height. Morgan and other Renner residents took precautions, gutting their basements of all their belongings. The water heater, the furnace, washer and dryer, that sort of thing. This morning, the yard behind me was dry, and now in less than an hour, it's covered by water. So, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time now. The water arrives, and most in this portion of town leave their homes, heading for higher ground. They know the situation is out of their hands, so as the water surrounds their homes, they're just happy they were ready for it. Yeah, it's our first year. We did put flood insurance down, so, you know, we are prepared for it. Now they're just waiting for the water to pass through, leaving their town worse for wear, but dry. Jesse Batson, KDLT News, Renner.